Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Currency Insider. Please check back the latest update about Iraqi dinar. The recent developments surrounding Iraq's currency transition and its relationship with the United States have sparked significant discussion. The US Treasury Department recently responded to the Central Bank of Iraq's measures aimed at restricting the flow of funds to Iran and its affiliates. While the US has no direct authority over Iraq's currency decisions, it has made it clear that Iraq must comply with specific regulations if it wants access to U.S. markets. This arrangement underscores the importance of following international standards while maintaining sovereignty over its own economic policies. In related discussions, Guru Frank 26 clarified that currency verification should be conducted through banks, not at private residences. This is due to the need for specialized equipment, such as a DRU machine, which requires a secure high-speed internet connection to operate. Therefore, individuals wishing to exchange currency must visit banks for verification. Meanwhile, political developments in Iraq have also caught attention. Newshound Guru Samson highlighted remarks by a government advisor suggesting that a potential return of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency could strengthen relations between Iraq and the United States, paving the way for closer cooperation. In a more specific context, Intel Guru Frank 26 shared that Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani recently stated that the country's currency transition would likely be completed by December 10, coinciding with Iraq's day of victory, marking the end of the war. Frank 26 emphasized the importance of Sudani's words, noting that every statement made by the Prime Minister is deliberate and significant. Furthermore, there are reports that legislative progress in Iraq is continuing, with three major laws, including the hydrocarbon law, HCL, potentially being resolved soon. Newshound guru Mark mentioned that Parliament's session has been extended until December 10, which aligns with the day of victory. Militia Man added that discussions around important legal frameworks, including those related to real estate in Kirkuk and Article 140 of the HCL, are ongoing. He believes that these laws are near completion and could be finalized during the current legislative session, signaling an important shift in Iraq's legal and economic landscape.